Cube here with a uh, Paint.net, Minimator, and MC Edit tutorial. And today, in this video, we will kind of use them together to create an an image of a Minecraft scenery or character, or multiple pictures of characters that have transparency, where where the main character isn't, so you can drop it on top of backdrops or pictures. Uh, good for making thumbnails. And this will also work with the videos, however I think I might need to make a separate tutorial on that unless you know how to chrome key, which is pretty easy if you have a video editing software that can use do that. Uh, so first thing you want to do is load up paint.net, go ahead hit file, new, and 16 by 16 pixels. Hit OK. You can zoom in and take the fill tool, get a nice shade of green, and just make the entire thing like that. And then you can go ahead and save that. And next, we will go into MC Edit. All right, we're back. This time, you're going to want to open MC Edit, another third-party. Well, this is a third-party tool for Minecraft. Uh, you can go ahead and create new world or load world. I'll create a new world called. Uh, I don't know what I'll call it, but uh, all you need to do is have. You don't even need to have 16 north and south chunks, but you're going to want to hit uh, creative and flatland. And height 64, grass, these don't really matter. And then you can go ahead and create it. Alright, here we go. Now we're in the world. Um, if you don't know how to use basic MC edit, I would recommend doing that. But you don't have to. Uh, so, to move around, you just right click and, well, to, to orbit and kind of look around, you just hold right click and look around. And to move, you hold right click and hit WASD. Oh, you actually don't need to hold w right click, but... That's for Minimator. I'm getting most confused. Anyway, go ahead and select a block, and then make a long strip. Go ahead and hold either one of these buttons. Hit hold Shift, and then hit Q about two times. Uh, I'm actually gonna make this a little bit bigger, but um, that was done by holding Shift and pressing A a couple times. Now we have a big selection. Go ahead and hit Fill and Replace. Oh. Go ahead and type in 57 or diamond block or really any any block. Mad it doesn't it doesn't matter. I just find diamond block kind of stands out. And yep, that's that's all that really matters. Um. Now you're going to want to. Oh, sorry. It's over here. Hit export. And then you can save this uh, whatever you want. Save it as green screen. I already have one, but just for the sake of the tutorial, I'll save it again. And next, and that's pretty much it. You don't even need to save the world, however you can. Uh, now I think we're going to move on to Minimator. Alright, we're back, this time in Minimator. Uh, what you want to do when you first load up Minimator is hit Add, Scenery. H hits where it says Schematic. Go ahead and wherever you saved that schematic, load it up. Should pop up with a bunch of diamonds. There we go, perfect. Now, you're going to want to hit Terrain, and find wherever you saved that green image. So I saved it over here. And there you go. Now all the diamonds should turn into just a solid green screen, which we will be using a little bit later. Alright, anyway, uh, you can go ahead and add your character or whatever you want to. Uh, to the field, go ahead and create a point for it, and then make it go wherever you want, really. I'm just going to... Something important is that most of the picture, or whatever, wherever uh, your characters are, have to be in front of the green screen. So if you have it like this, it's not going to work. So just uh, set up the characters in whatever way you want. I'll just create like a Steve that has some... Maybe he's doing some kind of dance, I guess. Doesn't need to be anything fancy, I'm just doing this for showing purposes. Oh, uh, let's have him be kind of nudging, I guess. Alright, anyway, I'm not creating anything too fancy, just to show what this can do. Uh, you can go ahead and create whatever scenery you want, but when you're ready, go ahead and hit export a screenshot and then save it as whatever you want it to be and there you go and it should open it in paint.net 
or whatever default image browser or viewer that you use. But anyway, you might want to open it in paint.net because that's where we're going to go to next. Alright, we're back in paint.net, and don't worry about that too, that's just from Fraps, you probably won't have that in there. Uh, what you're going to want to do is hit the magic wand key and put the tolerance to about 50% and click. And now as we can see, because it overlap the selection overlaps part of Steve's body, we do not want that. You can go ahead and turn the tolerance down and keep kind of turning it down until you get all, all the green and then keep turning it up until you don't get any of Steve's body because we want to get rid of all the green. So I think about 47% is where we want it and then hit control X on your keyboard. And there, that is pretty much it. Hold on, let me just get rid of that two over here. That is pretty much it. Um, now you have your character and you can uh, put them on whatever picture you want or you can make something fancy with that. Well, where are my layers? I don't know where that went, but you could maybe make a new layer and draw some kind of amazing picture back here. And as you can see, he is on top of the picture. And you can go ahead and grab him and move him around. And there's no scenery behind him, so you can drop him on behind anything. And for those who know how to use a green screen, what you can instead do in Minimator is, is make an animation, save it as a movie, and then use that to kind of chroma key it and uh, get rid of all the green. And then you can have an overlay that maybe is your transition or intro or whatever you want it to be. But anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.